Daniel chapter 12. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall arise. There shall be a time of anguish, such as has never occurred since nations first came into existence. But at that time, your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness, like the stars for ever and ever. But you, Daniel, keep the word secret and the book sealed until the time of the end. Many shall be running back and forth, and evil shall increase. Then I, Daniel, looked, and two others appeared, one standing on this bank of the stream and one on the other. One of them said to the man clothed in linen, who was upstream, How long shall it be until the end of these wonders? The man clothed in linen, who was upstream, raised his right hand and his left hand toward heaven. And I heard him swear by the one who lives forever that it would be for a time, two times, and half a time and that when the shattering of the power of the holy people comes to an end, all these things would be accomplished. I heard, but could not understand, so I said, My Lord, what shall be the outcome of these things? He said, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are to remain secret and sealed until the time of the end. Many shall be purified, cleansed, and refined, but the wicked shall continue to act wickedly. None of the wicked shall understand, but those who are wise shall understand. From the time that the regular burnt offering is taken away, and the abomination that desolates is set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Happy are those who persevere and attain the 1,335 days, but you go your way and rest. You shall rise for your reward at the end of the days. Hosea chapter 1 The word of the Lord that came to Hosea, son of Beeri, in the days of kings Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah of Judah, and in the days of king Jeroboam, son of Joash of Israel. When the Lord first spoke through Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go, Take for yourself a wife of whoredom, and have children of whoredom, for the land commits great whoredom by forsaking the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, daughter of Diblaim, and she conceived and bore him a son. And the Lord said to him, Name him Jezreel, for in a little while I will punish the house of Jehu for the blood of Jezreel, and I will put an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. On that day I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. She conceived again and bore a daughter. Then the Lord said to him, Name her Lo-Ruhamah, for I will no longer have pity on the house of Israel or forgive them, but I will have pity on the house of Judah, and I will save them by the Lord their God. I will not save them by bow or by sword or by war or by horses or by horsemen. When she had weaned Lo Ruhama, she conceived and bore a son. Then the Lord said, Name him Lo Ami, for you are not my people, and I am not your God. Yet the number of the people of Israel shall be like the sand of the sea, which can be neither measured nor numbered. And in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, it shall be said to them, Children of the living God. The people of Judah and the people of Israel shall be gathered together, and they shall appoint for themselves one head, and they shall take possession of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Hosea chapter 2 Say to your brother Ami and to your sister Ruhama, Plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, and I am not her husband, that she put away her whoring from her face and her adultery from between her breasts, or I will strip her naked and expose her as in the day she was born. 
and make her like a wilderness, and turn her into a parched land, and kill her with thirst. Upon her children also I will have no pity, because they are children of whoredom, for their mother has played the whore. She who conceived them has acted shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers. They give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, my oil and my drink. Therefore I will hedge up her way with thorns, and I will build a wall against her, so that she cannot find her paths. She shall pursue her lovers, but not overtake them, and she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then she shall say, I will go and return to my first husband, for it was better with me then than now. She did not know that it was I who gave her the grain, the wine, and the oil, and who lavished upon her silver and gold that they used for Baal. Therefore I will take back my grain in its time, and my wine in its season, and I will take away my wool and my flax, which were to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her shame in the sight of her lovers, and no one shall rescue her out of my hand." I will put an end to all her mirth, her festivals, her new moons, her Sabbaths, and all her appointed festivals. I will lay waste her vines and her fig trees, of which she said, These are my pay, which my lovers have given me. I will make them a forest, and the wild animals shall devour them. I will punish her for the festival days of the Baals when she offered incense to them and decked herself with her ring and jewelry and went after her lovers and forgot me, says the Lord. Therefore I will now allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. From there I will give her her vineyards and make the valley of Acre a door of hope. There she shall respond as in the days of her youth as at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, you will call me my husband, and no longer will you call me my Baal, for I will remove the names of the Baals from her mouth, and they shall be mentioned by name no more. I will make for you a covenant on that day with the wild animals, the birds of the air, and the creeping things of the ground, And I will abolish the bow, the sword, and war from the land, and I will make you lie down in safety. And I will take you for my wife forever. I will take you for my wife in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love and in mercy. I will take you for my wife in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. On that day I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth. And the earth shall answer the grain, the wine, and the oil. And they shall answer Jezreel. And I will sow him for myself in the land. And I will have pity on Lo Ruhama. And I will say to Lo Ami, You are my people. And he shall say, You are my God. Hosea chapter 3 The Lord said to me again, Go, love a woman who has a lover and is an adulteress just as the Lord loves the people of Israel, though they turn to other gods and love raisin cakes. So I bought her for fifteen shekels of silver and a homer of barley and a measure of wine. And I said to her, You must remain as mine for many days. You shall not play the whore. You shall not have intercourse with a man, nor I with you. For the Israelites shall remain many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterward, the Israelites shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall come in all to the Lord and to his goodness in the latter days. Hosea chapter 4 Hear the word of the Lord, O people of Israel, for the Lord has an indictment against the inhabitants of the land. There is no faithfulness or loyalty, and no knowledge of God in the land. Swearing, lying, and murder, and stealing and adultery break out. Bloodshed follows bloodshed. 
Therefore the land mourns, and all who live in it languish, together with the wild animals and the birds of the air. Even the fish of the sea are perishing. Yet let no one contend, and let none accuse. For with you is my contention, O priest. You shall stumble by day. The prophet also shall stumble with you by night. And I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I reject you from being a priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. The more they increased, the more they sinned against me. They changed their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people. They are greedy for their iniquity. And it shall be like people, like priests. I will punish them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. They shall eat but not be satisfied. They shall play the whore but not multiply, because they have forsaken the Lord to devote themselves to whoredom. Wine and new wine take away the understanding. My people consult a piece of wood, and their divining rod gives them oracles. For a spirit of whoredom has led them astray, and they have played the whore, forsaking their God. They sacrifice on the tops of the mountains, and make offerings upon the hills, under oak, poplar, and terebinth, because their shade is good. Therefore your daughters play the whore, and your daughters-in-law commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they play the whore, nor your daughters-in-law when they commit adultery. For the men themselves go aside with whores, and sacrifice with temple prostitutes. Thus a people without understanding comes to ruin. Though you play the whore, O Israel, do not let Judah become guilty. Do not enter into Gilgal, or go up to Beth-Avon, and do not swear, as the Lord lives. Like a stubborn heifer, Israel is stubborn. Can the Lord now feed them like a lamb in a broad pasture? Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. When their drinking is ended, they indulge in sexual orgies. They love lewdness more than their glory. A wind has wrapped them in its wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their altars.